Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Let's take a run to New York City, man, because a lot of stuff will be happening in New York this week. Big East tournament, big parties, everything. And to all of my great Syracuse University family throughout the world, Dr. Rick Wright alive and well in Syracuse, New York. Hey, Lee, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, and you, Dr. Wright? Oh, man, it's nice hearing from you, Lee Kent. You are the one. Hit us. I know you all got right. a lot Dr. of super Wright. information. Yes. The Syracuse University High School conducted a discussion about social media last Wednesday evening at the Paley Center for Media right down the street. The block from CBS Television. You know the place, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. That's 57th Street location, right? Uh, 52nd, right? Yeah, 52nd. Yeah, okay. Black Rock. Okay, gotcha. Go ahead, Lee. Well, we got to meet the Dean Liz, uh, Liz Liddy of the iSchool and her social media strategist, um, adjunct professor Anthony Rotolo. They were fantastic. I actually learned more about this field. Dr. Wright, have you heard about brandyourself.com? Oh, yes. Keep kicking. Uh-huh. Well, your reputation is important. Your name is your brand, and it can be exalted, giving you credibility, or malign, causing problems with future employers or potential customers. Oh, yes. This site reports what is happening with your reputation on the Internet. Oh, man. Your Power 106.9 FM listeners should write this site address down, www b r a n d hyphen y o u r s e l f dot c o m. That's brandyourself.com. Both Dean Liddy and Professor Rotolo signed up with the network that very night. Doctor Wright. Oh, we get some people on the network. You know, we had a big uh, radio conference in the SI Newhouse School of Public Communications on Friday as a part of the WJPZ Alumni Association's annual banquet. And, of course, the panelists were talking about social networking sites and how you got to be careful, you know, especially with Facebook and Twitter and even the old MySpace site with regards to what you put on those sites because if you are trying to get employed, a lot of employees are pushing up, punching up, pointing and clicking to those sites and putting your name out there to see what you've been doing, man. That's right. And uh, it could be trouble in River City, you know. Hey, big hello highs this afternoon to Dean Lorraine Branham. The Dean of the SI Newhouse School of Public Communications. Dean, great radio conference. Great party with WJPZ this weekend. Dynamite. So and I just want to get to that. a great network participant. Oh, yes. Here Dr. Wright. Tickets, Lee. Go ahead, guy. One of the network's founding signatories just sent me an email today stating that she is a partner in Harlem's newest, hottest restaurant. I am speaking of SU alum. Dawn Hill, and the restaurant is the now-famous Gospel Uptown. Wow. Oh, man. In <laughs> you Harlem. know Dawn Hill, right? Oh, yes. I know this is going to be dynamite, man. New York City, good food and good gospel music in New York City, especially on a Sunday afternoon, man. <laughs> well, I just found out that she is a partner, but I was just there during uh, SU alum Vaughn Harper's Christmas toy drive. I did not have time to eat then, but I will be back. Dawn wants everyone to know that Gospel Uptown is available for private parties, special events, and social networking opportunities. Her website is www.gospeluptown.com. That's G-O-S-P-E-L-U-P-T-O-W-N dot C-O-M. Dr. Wright, this is our last item. Okay, I know what it's about. <laughs> I know what this is going to be about. The following network participants and affiliates called into your old school Sunday show today. Ben Green, N.G. Lawrence, John Kellogg, Donald Singletary, Danielle Douglas, and Arlie Presley. You know what topic they all included, right? Talking about the big party in New York City, baby, this coming Saturday night. That's right. Yes, the 6th Annual SU New York City Alumni Reunion to be held on Saturday, March the 13th. This Saturday coming, doors open at 10 p.m. We say don't be late. Ben Green wants to attract 1,000-plus partygoers, but the place can only seat 
800. Okay. <laughs> the New York City Fire Department ready to shut it down as the Syracuse University Orangemen hopefully and should do at the Big East Tournament at Madison Square Garden. So we want all those like you attending the Big East Basketball Tournament at Madison Square Garden and the alumni who are flying in for that basketball event to head on over to this major party. Arlie Presley, the reunion host, wants the family and friends of our alumni to feel welcome. The venue is The Boulevard, situated at 199 Bowery Street at Spring Street. We are looking forward to seeing you there, Dr. Wright. Okay. So shout out to Donna and her daughter Danielle. All this right. Is Lee Kitt for the network. Okay, Lee Kitt for the network. Thank God for you and all that you do. You are incredible. And to all of my great Syracuse University family throughout the world, checking us out at power1069.com and also at power106. Point nine megahertz here in Syracuse and Central New York. Tally ho, away I go. Come back next week for another Big Bad Radio show. Okay, Lee Kitt, showtime. All right, so get to all the Syracuse University alums throughout the world. Checking out Dr. Rick Wright, Power 106.9, Old School Sunday. On a Big Bad Sunday afternoon, Dr. Rick Wright live and well in Syracuse here at Power 106.9 Radio. Do it. The network reminds you that you too may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.